Hey everybody, welcome back to the Spark Up YouTube channel. It's Maria and for today's video, I'm going to be going over a few useful tips for beginning artists that I personally took and yeah, I thought it would be nice to share with you all and by all means, you do not have to follow these tips like at all. I just, I just thought it would be nice to share with you. Um, but the first tip that I have is to create a social media page for your work. What I did uh, was that I created an Instagram page and I still have it now. I created an Instagram and just posted my work and people followed and it was a really nice way just to like get my work out there. Um, being like, I don't know, I forgot when I made it. I think I made it when I was like maybe 17 or 16 or something like that. Um, but yeah, I made it. I simply just posted my work, that was it, and people followed. So I think it's a good idea to have um, a digital, I guess, gallery like of your work if you're just starting out and Instagram, I guess, well in my opinion, it's a, it's a nice start just to, you know, um, have a, a display of your work digitally. Um, but one I guess resource that I found that is really useful today um, is TikTok and TikTok is super like famous right it's super popular right now everybody I'm, I'm not really everybody but maybe majority of people know what TikTok is but one useful way to utilize it is just to make one make a make a TikTok. it does not have to be like fancy or you don't have to show your face or do dances or anything like that like um you just have to uh take little like what i found and what i see a lot is that people love to see like the behind the behind the scenes type of TikToks. so if you're making any type of artwork um Take, film a little bit of it, like your beginning, your sketching, maybe paint you painting it, like, and then finishing it off and then showing it a final reveal. So like, just a, the process of you making art is really super trendy on TikTok. So yeah, it's a really fun and useful way to promote your work and for people to see you and, you know, maybe you want to buy some of your stuff or maybe somebody wants to commission you for something but that's a really good resource TikTok is super popular and there's lots and lots of art on TikTok so somebody is bound to see your work and you know like it and follow you and stuff like that but one other um, really uh, awesome thing about TikTok is if you make your account a business account, TikTok allows you to place a link in your bio. So if you kind of have like a following and maybe you make like an Etsy shop or your own like, I don't know, you make a shop or maybe um, something like that or you put your email in there, that gives people a way to either purchase your work or, you know, like ask you for a commission or things like that. So yes, tip number one is make a social media page for your work or some, some type of um, social media digital type of like page for your work because <laughs> as time goes on, like things are just getting more and more digital. But yeah, that's my tip number one. Tip number two is to go to local art vending events and gallery shows so one tip that i or tip number two that i have is um just go to like vending events they're usually free um like to enter like and you'll see tons of artists booths and other vendors like but it's really fun just to like experience it and see um how other artists do their work and how they set up their booths and things like that 
but yeah it's really it's really fun and it's a really nice experience to just go there scope it out see what you like and see how it is um but yeah if you're interested in doing that then then that's when you would go but um i'll share like a tiny little story <laughs> But um, when, like, my first vending event, um, I had, all I had was, like, a fold-out table, and then I had a tablecloth, and then I had, like, all my original work. So, I had my table, had it set up, and then this one lady, she came, and she came over to my booth, and she said hi, and, like, you know, introduced herself, and then she looked at my work, and then she liked it, and then she, you know went about her day and then she came she ended up coming back and she ended up coming she ended up purchasing one of my um, pieces and it was just like a pastel drawing of a Nintendo character dry bones <laughs> that I did um, but yeah it was super cool she purchased it for her son so yeah I was like super excited but it's so cool to think that like somebody has my work hanging in their house like that's so cool um but yeah vending events and usually the ones that are are low cost um you could start off with those or sometimes like yeah they're just the entrance fee to get in to have like a booth sometimes they're really low cost but i would suggest trying out if it's your first time doing one that's you know doesn't have a huge fee to enter and um, along with that tip go to like local gallery shows and see how that is like see check out like check out other artists work see see what a show is like um, and also go to local go to just gallery shows like sometimes if you enter your work um, you submit your work to a sh um, like a, a gallery event that's happening. Um, they might like your work and they might want you to be in, in that gallery show. Um, I know when I was, I think, 16 or 17, I, um, I entered a, a show that was, um, it was held at the Pico House in Los Angeles in downtown LA. And it was really cool, like, um, it was super exciting. I submitted my work, I guess one of the judges or whatever liked it, so I ended up being in that in that um, show and it was really fun, it was really cool to see like everybody's work and what like a, a, an art show is like, it was just super fun, like super fun to experience and that show that I entered, it was, um, the entrance fee was free so if you're looking to enter like a gallery show um, and you're just starting out, try to look for free ones, try to look for local um, art shows and you never know like you just never know and plus it'll be a really good experience for you but yeah that's my second tip and then my tip number three <laughs> is um, for commissions and pricing so I'm just gonna be really kind of short with this but if it if you want like another video of how I do it, I could totally do that. Um, but I'll just be really brief. <laughs> but um, for commissions, the way that I like to do it is um, I take the cost of the materials plus the amount of time that I, I took working on it. And then depending on like how fast the client wants their work, and yeah so if I add the cost and then I put like an hourly wage of maybe like 15 to like $25 and if and um, the, the time the client wants it like if they want it super fast then obviously like you have to you know like respect yourself and, and make the price a little bit higher um, but what I was gonna say is that if I'm <laughs> making a piece and it took me maybe like four hours I would take my hourly rate cost which would be like 15 or 25 and multiply that by four and then that would be my cost and then I would just add my 
cost of supplies. And then if they wanted it super fast, I would also add a, a little fee, like just to add into it. Um, but yeah, that was really super brief, super short, but that's how I would do it. I hope these tips helped maybe somebody, <laughs> but I really um, had a fun time sharing these tips with you and I don't know, reminiscing. <laughs> but it was really fun, nice time, but you don't have to follow these tips at all. Like, I just thought they'd be nice to share. The Sparketh community is gonna be doing um, a raffle. So I'm actually raffling off uh, one of my pieces that I did. Um, it's actually one of the bubble, the bubble painting pieces that I did. And yeah, like, <laughs> enter the raffle, you guys might win one of my pieces. So yeah, um, don't forget to check out the community page. Uh, it's really cool. Um, we have art contests on there and it's a really fun way to get involved in the spark in like our brand and um, yeah just check it out there's a lot of cool things on there so as I mentioned last week I'm gonna be giving a shout out to the last um, most recent